What's going on, people? It's the Xbox 448, and in today's video, I gotta say congratulations to Nintendo. Congratulations, Nintendo, for coming out with a new piece of hardware and having the sales go as high as they have gone. Now, for people who don't know, late last week it came out that, well, basically Nintendo said that they are on pace with the Switch to beat out numbers for the Nintendo Wii, which if you remember last generation, that was the system that sold to everybody. Uh, according to Nintendo, in the first 10 months, they sold 4.8 million pieces of hardware, and that's 800,000 more units at that same point in time than the Wii was doing. So, in all actuality, you know, right now they are outpacing the Wii. Uh, so I have to say congratulations, but I do also have to say I don't think it's actually going to outpace the Wii in the long run i don't think it's going to outsell the wii in the long run but it does pose a question and it's a question that i've actually dealt with with a few of my friends and that is why is this thing selling so well i have heard i've heard people say well it's because of the exclusives you know the marios the zelda stuff like that and and to that extent i i will have to partially agree with them because even in the wii u era when a new Mario came out or something like that, uh, people bought it. You know, there was like 10 million um, Wii U's out there and like 7 million uh, new Mario's were sold. So at that extent, I, I will have to agree that, you know, Nintendo exclusives do do sell. But what is it with the Switch? And um, I have a theory, I have an opinion, I have an idea that some people, you know, either... People either side with me or they don't. And, and my whole thing is the Switch, in all actuality, is a handheld. Now, I know Nintendo calls it a console, calls it a hybrid. There's people out there calling it a hybrid because it plugs into a TV. But let's be honest, uh, in today's day and age, when it comes to phones, tablets, uh, things that you play mobile games on, what doesn't plug into a TV today? So, I mean, just because it plugs into a TV, you don't necessarily call it a console. And if you go and you talk to people who have a Switch, or you talk to people who are in interested in the Switch, uh, you know, they talk about the games, first and foremost. But when you ask them, you know, what is the thing about the Switch, you know, besides the games, like the features and stuff like that, what is the one thing that, you know, really excites people? It's, it's the ability to take it with you to play it wherever you go, to be a handheld, it's portable, it's a handheld, and that is the thing, that is what drives the sales of the Switch. Of course, it's the new Marios, the new Zeldas, but when you talk on the hardware side of things, you can't get around the fact that most people, when they talk about the feature set, when it comes to the Switch, that portability is at the top of the list. This is why I don't put it in competition with the PS4 or the Xbox One because I feel like what Nintendo has done is they have taken a certain part of the gaming industry, um, the handheld, the portable, and they have made that their own. I don't see any other company. I don't see Sony with uh, maybe a new Vita. I don't see Xbox, you know, Microsoft with a, with a portable Xbox. I don't see them cutting in to Nintendo's piece of the pie. And yes, they have a 3DS, which is labeled handheld. And they have a Switch, which they consider quote unquote hybrid. But at the end of the day, you know, people say they're competing with themselves. I'm saying they actually have made a monopoly within the handheld space that, you know, nobody can crack that wall per se that's how that's how i feel i i think what nintendo did is they saw what was going on in the mobile market when it came to you know uh cell phone games and, and stuff like that and and they kind of remolded nintendo around that idea i think nintendo is going strictly portable per se i i think they're going into the more mobile gaming now with the switch you have you, you have a system that is comparable in power. I mean, it would be the least powerful out of, you know, the PlayStation, Xbox, and Switch. It would be the least powerful 
out of those three, you know, from the beginning of this generation, and uh, that power gap is just growing. But, you know, uh, companies like Bethesda have been able to get Doom on the Switch and stuff like that, or, or even last generation's uh, Skyrim, which uh, people are really liking. You know, the fact that you could take Skyrim on the go. And again, that is the key point of interest on the go. All right, that's why, in all actuality, the Nintendo Switch is a handheld. It is the most powerful gaming handheld, you know, that Nintendo has made. And that's fine. They're not competing with themselves. They monopolize handheld gaming when it comes to, like, these, these known gaming companies. You know, Nintendo, Sony, and, and, and Xbox, you know, a.k.a. Microsoft. That's what they have done here, guys. And, you know, I know I have friends out there, YouTubers and stuff, that would disagree with me. But, guys, I will always bring you what I feel is common sense. And if you look what they have done... With creating, you know, Mario Run, Pokemon Go, to go on the mobile side of things with cell phones and stuff like that. Their success of their DS and 3DS, and now the success of the Switch. This is where Nintendo is going. This is where they are going to live for a while. And I, I can pretty much guarantee you're not going to see a traditional quote-unquote console from Nintendo anytime soon. But congratulations to Nintendo. They did something uh, incredible in terms of business with kind of monopolizing the handheld gaming space. But as usual, guys, I want to know what you think about this. I want to know if you if you hear where I'm coming from. Does this make sense to you? Do you see what Nintendo has done in remolding kind of like their direction and, and taking the success of their DS and kind of making Nintendo, you know, the company that's all about that portable success so hit up the comment section let me know what you think guys as usual if you like the gameplay you know you like the topics uh definitely slap that thumbs up button for me and if you haven't subscribed yet definitely subscribe but as for now this is the xbox 448 and i am definitely signing off